Here at home, the senator's response is not sitting well with a large group of rabbis tonight. Denise joins us now in the studio with more on how a group of local rabbis wants Senator Van Hollen to rethink his views on the war. Denise. Well, Rick and Nikki, in a letter to the senator, more than 70 rabbis from across the state are urging Van Hollen to back Israel's defense against Hamas without any conditions or restrictions. The rabbis do not want Van Hollen or other lawmakers to deny Israel's military any assistance, highlighting the $14 billion in aid President Biden has called for. They say it is, quote, needed to free both Israelis and Palestinians. WJZ spoke with the leader of Baltimore's Jewish Council, Howard Libet. He says Van Hollen's recent statements are driving a wedge within the Jewish community. I think he needs to rethink um, how he's um, he need, and, and do more to he needs to do more to acknowledge the critical role that Hamas is playing in all of this, and that Israel absolutely has to eradicate Hamas because Hamas is vowed. They will repeat the October 7th attacks again and again and again. In a statement to WJZ responding to the rabbi's letter, Senator Van Hollen said, in part, I appreciate these rabbis sharing the views they expressed in this letter. I fully support the right of Israel to defend itself and eliminate the military threat of Hamas. I also believe that a just war must be fought justly. That is why I have continued to express my deep concerns about the actions taken by the Netanyahu government in the face of the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Back to you, Rick. Thank you.